So it's a bit, it's kind of a bit drizzly today. Sad times, but hopefully the sun comes out later. We are on our way to get some lunch. Yes. Barney is very hungry. We've had a bit of a lazy morning. So nice to be back. I know. There's like a little show happening. It's like Charlie Chaplin. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Barney's hungry, <laughs> and I'm hungry too. <laughs> yeah, I'm also hungry. Hello. <laughs> Better to have our first ever wasabi. Well, we're not. He is. <laughs> So exciting! So I've got katsu, Barney's gonna have chicken and rice, and he's got some um, chicken teriyaki and some of these um, uh, gyoza, chicken gyoza. I can never say that word. Yeah, gyoza. I mean, to be fair, these are to share. I've got the same as you, I've got the katsu, and this is like just, yeah, the same katsu, but it's got a little bit of teriyaki sauce on it as opposed to the curry sauce. So, yeah. He loves rice, so... <laughs> <laughs> Not that you can tell. I don't know whether you can hear, but he's making the most excited noises for the um, the chicken gyoza. Giggling, isn't he? <laughs> Is it so yummy? <laughs> Everywhere in London now has like the most beautiful flower displays. <laughs> Do you want an Instagram pic? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Aren't they so pretty? They are. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Santa Nata. Yeah, side note, if anyone's in London and you like Portuguese custard tarts, this is the place to come. It's kind of like a, not a chain, but like there's a couple of them, but they're the best. <laughs> so we're in a lift. We've come to the Harry the Harry Potter exhibition. We Very forgot exciting. to vlog outside, so we'll do that on our way out. It was a, a bit of a... A whirlwind to get yeah. in. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited. But we're not even sure what to expect, so here we go. <laughs> Look at the giant letter. Did you ever wish you had a letter? Uh, I, 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 did, I remember waiting for my letter when I was 11. <laughs> <laughs> it never came. So this is cool. We've just noticed that. So if you look, this is where obviously this the sketch of where Gringotts is. But when they filmed it, the top of it was just green screen, mm -hmm. and That's they've so got the bottom pillars, so you kind of know where it is. But yeah, it looks very different, doesn't it? I feel like with this bit, I'm walking in the diagonal. Yeah. Do you know what's really? It's really special to think how hard it is to to build that and they've done it at Universal. Yeah. Like, I know. <laughs> so this is the dedication it takes to get the vlog up on This is the editing suite. <laughs> so we've got the vlog for tonight, the vlog for tonight uploading on Dave's Hotspot. phone data, but his phone is dead, so we've got it plugged into a, like, Charging charger. Charging brick. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. We've got to keep the laptop open, otherwise it won't upload. <laughs> How long's it got left? 27 minutes. Ooh. <laughs> this is Barney's first time watching Harry Potter. I wonder if the whole thing's we can just sit here like a cinema. <laughs> Do you want to just stay and watch it? Excuse me. <laughs> could, could you tell me? How to he loves it. <laughs> it's Ron's first time to Hogwarts as well. Ron's classroom is up and down. Uh, Dave. <laughs> this is important. This is about the philosopher's stone. What are you doing? <laughs> Looking at this uh, telephone box with all the information. <laughs> It's so cool seeing these massive photographs of just the behind the scenes. It feels like you're actually there because they're like life size. Oh yeah, it's tiny. So this is the actual construction of the burrow. But look at how small it is compared to that man. So obviously you couldn't go in there. It was just to get the, the shot. That's crazy. So these girls here are um, Emma Watson's stunt doubles um, for shooting a scene in the Forbidden Forest um, in the Deathly Hallows part one. 
She does look like Emma Watson, doesn't she? So there's her stunt double number one. There's her second stunt double, and there's Emma Watson. And there's um, Hermione's costume from the Deathly Hallows. And that's her magical bag, Dave, that like holds everything. And like a Mary Poppins bag? Yeah. That's cool. It's got, it's got everything. I definitely need that. <laughs> there's Voldemort's robes. Silky. <laughs> Where does this box go, Dave? Ministry of Magic. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! Where's your mummy? <laughs> He's so He's strong. literally holding himself. <laughs> Woo! Mate. Is there a chap? So, the Harry Potter Cafe has amazing Wi Fi. Like, magical Wi Fi. We got the plug up in like. Five minutes oh, in yeah, here. Literally so quickly. So there's um there's a butter beer bar there. There's literally no one here, it's very quiet. And then round here you can sit. I think I don't know what this is. It looks like uh Felix Felicus Felicus <laughs> I'm saying that wrong. It looks like a magical potion or something, doesn't it? But then all the other seats are like these little booths, it kind of look like the train. Um but yeah, it's absolutely amazing in here but it's it's a monday so it's just very very quiet brewed and bottled in the united kingdom from the original leaky collagen recipe <laughs> oh this makes me think of universal <laughs> just like all the same packaging yeah. like these uh, peppermint toads Can you get a bit bigger and you're gonna come to Hogwarts? Yes, please. He's definitely a Hufflepuff. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Yay! So we're back. This is the bit that we missed to show you before. So there's the there's the flying car. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Banana. <laughs> How's your banana? <laughs> oh my goodness. Your favorite. He's too cute. Oh, you want mummies? Ah. Uh, <laughs> yes. So nosy. I know. Always in other people's business. Yes. Mmm. Dave's doing his favourite game. <laughs> Pick up the croissant. Oh yeah, and banana. I forgot there's banana as well. Funny. Stop eating the camera! <laughs> Barney's got his loungewear set on, mm -hmm. ready for the train. They're so soft. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't want to go. No, I don't want you to go either. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Only a week to go. Thank you so much for coming down. <laughs> so Barney and I are on a boy's mission. Um, it is nearly time for Barney and Soph to go and get the train. But Soph said that she wanted a delicious train snack for lunch. Um, 
and I know that one thing that she absolutely loves that she can't get in Cheshire is Chipotle. So I know that she had it in the last video, um, but she fancied it for the train again. So I'm running down to Chipotle, um, and it's actually going to put my husbanding skills to the test because stupidly I forgot to ask what she orders, and I'm not going to text her, I'm just going to see if I can remember her order. It's quite specific. <laughs> What am I talking about? You had Chipotle with her the other day. You can tell me your order, can't you? You can tell me. <laughs> he just constantly wants to pull this mask off. <laughs> Which, to be honest, I do too. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready, Barney Bear? Let's do it. Oh, it's a pull. Okay, fine. It's so sad. I don't want to go. No, I know. Here we go. <laughs> What's your daddy doing? <laughs> Thank you for the burrito. You're very welcome. I hope I got it right. What was your order? Um, rat, uh -huh. chicken, uh -huh. brown rice, uh -huh. peppers and onions, uh -huh. salsa, uh -huh. cheese, mild salsa, right? mild salsa yeah. cheese, sour cream. Nailed it. Single chicken was okay, yeah. Same lift, technically. I'm the say goodbye. I make jokes when I'm sad. So. And I just smile and go very awkward, but I'll miss you so much in same. a minute. <laughs> You're very tired. You're going to be such a good boy for your mummy. <laughs> Just like you always are. Hi, Daddy. I love you so much. Thank you for coming to visit me. You've made my whole week. I know. It's been so nice. Only another week to go. Yay! Yay! We'll be reunited. <laughs> Yay! One week to go. Week. Hi, Daddy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Just made it to my mum's. Hello! Hello! I missed you so much! It's Chip! Oh my goodness! It's Chip! Hi! Okay, we're home. I'm tired. We've had such a lovely time, but it's tough. It is just tough being out of your like home environment with a baby just he just wants to crawl everywhere and obviously you're in London or you're on the tube or you're in a restaurant or something there's just nowhere for him just to to crawl around and that's what he does most of his day you know because we're just at home a lot so I think it was a bit of a, an adjustment for Barney for either being carried or in his pram but he did so well and I feel much more confident now like going places with him going forwards because it just forced me to go places like we went to wasabi they didn't have a high chair but you know we just put his pram like all the way up we did get a bit of rice in his like um, fluffy pram liner but you know you you live and learn i might regret this <laughs> ready one two three whoa oh my goodness <laughs> You're funny. You're a funny bean. 
I just thought I'd tell you a few things that might be helpful. So headphones were a complete and utter waste of time. I'm sure some of you have probably laughed at me for thinking that was even going to be a possibility. <laughs> Thankfully the people around us were really lovely and I just had like Disney Plus on like the, the one bar of volume you could I could barely hear it just so he had a tiny bit of volume and no one else seemed to mind. The Camelback was an absolute lifesaver. It's absolutely rammy. It's covered in banana and all sorts, but this was enough water for Barney for the whole day, like more than enough, um, and it didn't leak and he could drink out of it. So highly recommend one of those if you're traveling just so you don't have like a sippy cup that's gonna leak everywhere on you. Um, the Harry Potter exhibition, so it's a pop-up, it's in Covent Garden, they've currently got a Disney one and a Harry Potter one. It was £20 each but Barney was free. I thought it was great, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and it definitely had that atmosphere and the music and like the merch and it definitely gave you the feels but I don't want anyone to think that it's like a big thing you can do with your whole family. If you were taking like a family of four or five, it would be well over a hundred pounds and I don't think it was worth that. Obviously it was just um, me and Dave that we paid for. I did enjoy it and it gave us something to do. Um, and as you saw, it was lovely and quiet when we went. So it was, it was a really lovely experience, but don't go there thinking it's like a, a big thing. Pretty much what we filmed was a, a lot of it. It probably took us about an hour to get round um, and we really loved it but definitely it's no comparison to the studio tours, like nowhere near. So um, if you're looking to do anything Harry Potter related in London, definitely go and do um, the studio tours. So this week's um, Gusto box has arrived so I thought we could just open this. It's always fun to see what we get. Ooh, okay, we're doing cheeseburgers this week. Ooh, that's a bit intimidating. Um, so yeah, the way the promotion works is um, when you join, you get your own like code that you can then share with your family and friends. So if you use our code, you'll get 60% off your first box. Our first box was like 14 pounds. And then you get 30% off your next two boxes. You don't even have to do the second or third box. You can just cancel it after the first week, which is a good idea just to try it out for the really cheap price. Um, and then you'll get a code on your account that you can then share with your family and friends. And then if anyone uses your code, credit gets added to your um, account. So it's just a really nice program really, just to try it out. So I'll pop our code down below if you want to have a look. Um, but last week we thoroughly loved it. It was just really nice to have something super tasty every night for dinner because I'm not that good of a cook. So um, yeah, let's have a look. So you get the bits and bobs um, pack for each recipe. Each recipe has like a code. Um, so we've got four. Um, and then this is all like the, the chilled stuff. Oh, so these are ice packs and we've got like the meats and the cheeses. What's that? A little piece of ginger or a little potato? And then all like the vegetables um, and other bits and pieces are in here. So this week we're having the Sweet and Smoky Barbecue Chicken Fajitas. I ordered this again just because Barney absolutely loved it. We're gonna try the Thai green vegetable curry with lime. We've got the DIY classic cheeseburger. That looks so good. And we've got crispy lemon chicken with chili rice. Um, and what's really good is that if you're adding anything that's spicy like chilies and things, it tells you just to leave it out if you are cooking for children. So that's what I do. I just leave anything that's too spicy out. Um, but Barney's loving all these flavours. He's doing so well. Did you hear me coming? <laughs> Were you just relaxing? <laughs> well, the ball pit was a success. He did 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes! <laughs> thank you. Um, say thank you for watching, friends. See you in our next one. <laughs>